It's my last tea bag. Till I go to the shop and get some more. Right, last week we did the muscles of the plantar foot and I was never gonna leave it there. Eventually one day I was gonna come back and do the muscles of the dorsal foot. But because it's so easy, I'll do it this week. You might be able to hear outside a large group of cardiothoracic surgeons who are learning cardiothoracic stuff, hard stuff. I don't know entirely what they're doing, but they're using our labs. Um, so, but just goes to show, you see, in this game, you can never stop learning. We don't know everything. We don't even know everything. We're still studying and learning. You can never stop learning. You. So we'll start learning, shall we? Right. Um, okay, so we said this was the plantar foot and this is the dorsal foot. Um, I know I kind of serialized this, but if you're searching from the future and just finding these videos, this serialization of week to week doesn't make any sense. But you should have a look at that video first because that's where the meat of the thing is. This is fairly straightforward. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do the same thing as last time. We'll look at the bones again, just to remind ourselves what we're playing with. And then we'll look at the model and see what we can see on the model and then work out what is called, as in what the muscles are called by where they're going to and that sort of thing, right? And what we think they might do. We're gonna meet a couple of muscles and then we're gonna meet a few tendons running through. And that's basically it, all right? When we were looking at the, the muscles on this side of the foot, um, I said these were largely flexors of, of, of the toes, of, of the various joints in here, right? Flexion versus extension. I was equating the toes to the hand, which is appropriate. You might be familiar with the terms dorsiflexion and plantar flexion and dorsiflexion, this is the dorsal foot, this is the plantar foot. Dorsiflexion then is to bring the dorsal foot closer to the shin. Dorsiflexion, plantar flexion, dorsiflexion, plantar flexion, dorsiflexion. And plantar flexion is to, is to push the plantar surface further away so you're standing on your, on your tiptoes, right? When we're talking about the toes, we often, we're, we're kind of talking about flexion and extension. And the reason I use those terms is because that's how we name the muscles, right? So on this side of the foot, these muscles are gonna be extending the toes. Remember also that the big toe is called halysis. So the muscles we're looking at here, if they're extending the big toe, they're gonna be extensor halysis, right? And if they're extending the other toes, they're gonna to be extensor digit, digitorum, extensor digital, digitorum. And we saw that the little toe was called digiti minimi, like the little finger is also called digiti minimi. And no, I'm still not taking my socks and shoes off, so you'll have to make do with flexion extension, flexion extension, pretending my hand is a foot or something. I don't know, anyway. All right, so bones. He's flexible, to, <laughs> he's flexible today. Um, all right, so if we look at the foot, these are, the, these are the tarsal bones. The big one is the calcaneus, the heel bone. But all of these, these bones of the, of the ankle, of the, these bones down here, these are all tarsal bones. These are the metatarsals, these long ones that are making up a lot of the foot. And then these little ditty ones are phalanges. The great toe, the big toe, halysis, sort of the hallux rather, has two phalanges, distal and proximal. The others have three phalanges, proximal, middle, and distal phalanx. If you wanted to describe the extension of a toe as dorsiflexion of the toe, I would not get terribly upset by that. It doesn't sound terribly wrong because it's, it's, it's whatever. Okay, muscles. So remember, we've got extrinsic and intrinsic muscles. The intrinsic muscles are within the foot. The extrinsic muscles are in the, in the leg. That's the bit between the knee and the ankle, right? Uh, okay, intrinsic muscles, what can we see? Well, we can see this muscle here. Um, this muscle has got a number of, of slips to it and they're running out underneath these tendons and they're running out to toes four, three, and two. Ah, so this is, um, this is gonna extend the digits 
and it's a short one because I know there's a long version. So this is extensor digitorum brevis, brevis meaning short in the foot. But it doesn't go to the little toe, hmm, funny. So these are actually, see we've got these tendons running down here. So this is the extrinsic muscle, this is running from the shin, and these are the tendons of um, extensor digitorum longus. So this is the long muscle. It's running down from the shin, from the anterior leg, and running down into the, into the toes up here, into the connective tissue covering the toes, and they're gonna extend the toes. And the tendons then of extensor digitorum brevis are actually gonna attach to these tendons. So extensor digitorum brevis is gonna help extensor digitorum longus do its thing, which is extend the toes, right? And look, so I mean, if extensor digitorum brevis doesn't go to the little toe, what extends the little toe? Well, we can see here that it's extensor digitorum longus. That does send a tendon to the little toe. So that's funky. All right. So there's another muscle here, a little one, and this is very similar to the other intrinsic muscle here. And that's running out and that's running into this tendon again to the big toe. So this short muscle here, this will be extensor hallucis brevis. And that again is running to this long tendon here. This is the tendon of extensor hallucis longus. So the long version is in the shin and it's running all the way down to the big toe and that's gonna extend the great toe useful when you're swinging your foot forward in the, in the swing phase, you lift your toe, toes up off the ground, right? Um, and then extensor, extensor hallucis brevis is the short version of that. Now the funny thing is that really, extensor hallucis brevis doesn't look terribly separate from extensor digitorum brevis, it almost looks like, like one muscle, now going to the big toe and the other toes. Whether that's true or not, I'll leave up to scholars uh, to look at. The muscles of extensor hallucis brevis and extensor digitorum brevis are coming from the calcaneal bone back here, back from the calcaneus. And there's also a ligament there linking the calcaneus to the talus. So there's, they, they're also attached to that, what's it called, talocalcaneal ligament, calcaneo table. I reckon talocalcaneo sounds tidier. So they're attached to the ligament between calcaneus and talus. And look, do you see this here? This is the retinaculum. This is the connective tissue that's, that's tying these, these ligaments down so they don't bowstring when you dorsiflex, they don't stick up. Uh, so this muscle's also attached to that, that retinaculum there, that extensor retinaculum. So that's where they're coming from, and like I say, they're inserting into these tendons here. That's different to the hand, isn't it? We've got these short extensors of the, of the toes, and we've got the long extensor of the toes, whereas in the hand, we've only got one extensor of the fingers. So that's pretty much it. We've looked, that's it. Those are the, the intrinsic muscles and the extrinsic muscles on the dorsal foot. There are the interosseous muscles as well, which I'll revise in a moment. But the other tendon we can see here running down, this is, this is the tendon of the tibialis anterior muscle. Now you remember we, we talked about tibialis posterior, we just saw the tendon running into the plantar surface of the foot, spreading out there and attaching to all sorts of things. Well tibialis anterior is the other tendon here and that's running down, to that. you can see it going in here, that this is uh, the fifth metatarsal bone, what have you. We're not talking about this muscle specifically today, are we? But just suffice to say that it's there and that's gonna be the dorsiflexor and inverter of the foot, right? in, so it brings the sole of the foot to face in, inversion. Um, ba -ba -ba. Isn't that a lot easier than last week? Um, so the interosseous muscles, the other bits of muscle that we can see in here, boom, 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 these other little slips of muscle then, those are the dorsal interosseous muscles. And we can see the, uh, the metatarsal bones. We're that deep, right? Because the foot is all, it's all arched, isn't it? It's holding an arch. So the interosseous muscles are running between the metatarsal bones, as we said last week, um, and they run out then to the, to the proximal phalanges and they, they help abduct and adduct. Remember, pad and dab, so the, the plantar pad, they adduct to the toes and the dorsal abduct, dab. Um, and yeah, they don't go to all the toes. It's all a bit funky, but do we really care about abduction and abduction of your toes much? Probably not. Um, and uh, yeah, see, I'm just going off on a tangent back to last week. Stop. The muscles of the dorsal foot, done. Innovation, the, oh, you can see the nerves here. 
Right, so these are coming from the anterior leg. So we have the sciatic nerve splits into the tibial nerve that runs down the calf and the common fibula nerve that runs around to the fibula. Uh, also gets called the common peroneal nerve, both words mean, mean pin. Um, the common fibular nerve splits into superficial and the deep fibular nerves. There's the little toe, this is lateral, so the superficial fibular nerve innervates the fibular muscles or peroneal muscles laterally, whereas it's the, the deep fibular nerve that runs through, it dives through to the, the anterior leg. So these extrinsic muscles of the anterior leg and these intrinsic muscles of the dorsal foot are innervated by the, the deep fibular nerve. All right, um, the introsseous muscles, well, last week when we looked at the muscles of the plantar foot, I didn't talk about their innervation, I don't think. I did link to a whole other video where we do the, all the nerves in the lower limb, but suffice to say that the tibial nerve runs down the calf and it runs around the medial malleolus and it splits into, into medial and lateral plantar nerves which we can see on there, and the medial and lateral plantar nerves innervate all of those muscles of the plantar surface of the foot, including the interosseous muscles, including the dorsal interosseous muscles. All right, oh. So as before, you're naming the muscle by what it does and what it attaches to. So much better than looking at a, the table and trying to remember the names of things and what they attach to in minute detail. Right, look at the models, get in the lab, look at the models, or the humans, or whatever you got, right? Um, okay, pretty sure that's it. See you guys next week.